This video is not an engineering tutorial. I am not an electrical engineer. I am not an electrician. I'm just interested in the tools. This video is primarily about these Vera actuator tools for terminal blocks. And to keep things interesting, we're gonna also talk about these screwdrivers and take a look at the differences in machining on these tips. So this is the new Vera actuator tool set for terminal blocks. And these tools come in two sizes, 2.5 millimeter and 3.5 millimeter. These are made in the Czech Republic. Vera also has this Phoenix Contact rebranded tool. I could only find this larger three and a half millimeter size on Amazon DE. That's just an FYI. This actuator block is a Phoenix Contact type UMKSE, and it has two different sizes of spring cage terminal blocks. This larger size, and then this smaller size. So this is just a distribution block. You got your inputs, and then you get all these outputs that are the same. It fits on DIN rail if you are interested in the terminal block. I realize that many, many of us are never going to run into spring cage terminals, or even terminal blocks on DIN rail. If you're like me, you're curious about these tools and what they're actually used for. This spring cage type terminal block is not a push in type. You can't push this in and have the conductor lock in. It has to be actuated. And that is why these actuation tools exist. Off camera, I have this clamped down because I need to be able to demonstrate this with my hands free. So the spring cage is actuated with the tool and then the conductor is inserted. So point is spring cage has to be actuated. So this is a close up of the spring cage actuating with the actuator tool. Unless there's some professionals out there that know how to get that conductor in there some other way. As near as I can tell, you have to actuate this. That's the spring cage. That's what the tools are for. This larger actuator tool works in both sizes of these terminal cages. It actuates the large one and the small one. And you can buy these individually or in the set of two. So if you're just curious and you're only going to buy one, maybe get the bigger one. Can a conventional or VDE screwdriver do the same thing? Yes, but if you're in a panel and you have obstructions, you don't have the advantage of this crowbar bend in the tool. But yes, these do work. This is a Garant rebrand of a PB Swiss. Yes, that actuates it. Uh, this one does a nice job. Here's a Baco non-VDE, just a wedge style tip. Yes, that actuates it. Here's a Baco, and what is that? Parallel or hollow ground tip, VDE slim. This one is not as easy to actuate. And I think it's because the length of this hollow grinding or parallel machining is not very long on this one. So if we look at a Weha VDE, uh, this is a non-slimmed style. So their grind is a little bit more of a wedge hollow grind on this. This one actuates it okay. This is a CK. So this is ground to a wedge, very similar to the actuator tools and the Baco, and this one works fine in there. Uh, those are just some interesting differences in the way VDE screwdrivers and screwdrivers in general are ground and how those differences affect using these tools in a spring cage terminal application. And here's the two sizes. These are wedge ground, so these are not parallel or hollow ground. Like I said, I'm not an electrical engineer. I don't work with these things. I just find the tool aspect of it interesting. And as I was fiddling around with this spring cage terminal block, I noticed some of these differences. 
So it just goes to show that even among different brands of VDE screwdrivers, there's fairly big differences in the way that the tips are. So now you know that these Vera terminal actuator tools are a thing, and there is also rebranded Phoenix Contact versions of the Vera tools. I hope you found that interesting and in some way helpful, and thank you for watching.